Hi team, right, we're back again, uh, solving division problems with written methods, this time with remainders. So remainder is a fancy way of saying um, with numbers left over. So let's get into it. Remember our success criteria, we're taking the face value, um, face value of the number, not the place value. So face value, not the place value. So here we go. Um, first equation says 238 divided by 3. So we go, how many times does 3 go into 2? 3 goes into 2. Well, we can't do that, so we put a 0 up here. Then we say, how many times does 3 go into 23? Because we've got those two numbers joined together now. So we say, well, 3 goes into 23. Well, uh, knowing my basic facts, I know that 6 3s are 18, 7 3s are 21, 8 3s are 24. So 8 3s is too much, 7 3s is 21. So therefore, we've got 2 left over. So I put the 2 here. Now we treat that as 28. And I go, how many times does 3 go into 28? Well, we just said before that 8 3s were 24. 9 3s are 27. So 9 3s are 27. So I'm going to put 9 there. But now I've got 1 left over. So all I do is I write remainder, or an R, 1. Now there are other things you can do with the remainders, but for the purpose of this video, this is the answer. So 238 divided by 3 is 79 remainder 1. Let's go to the next example. Here we go. 7 into 4. Can't do. 7 into 47. Mm, 7 sixes are 42. So 7 sixes are 42. I've got 5 left over. Now I go 7s into 59. Well, I know from my basic facts that 7 eighths are 56. So 7 eighths are 56. I've got 3 left over. So that's 68 remainder 3. And the last example down here within our nines times tables, here we go. 329 divided by 9. 9's into 3. Can't do. 9's into 32. 9 3's are 27. And I've got 5 left over. So another 59. So now I go 9's into 59. Well, um, 9 5's are 45. 9 6's are 54. So that's going to be my closest number. So 9 6's are 54. And I've got um, 54 to make 59. I've got 5 left over. So that's remainder 5. So that's how we do written method with remainders.